Okay, here we are again with the 1980 baseball cards. Now, if you notice, they're done a little bit different. We're used to them always being upright like that. But these guys do the groups this way. And on the other video, they done three guys together on each card. And then they had the group pictures. So it wasn't so much individual fame <laughs> back in the 1980s as they do now. Not for this group anyhow. So here we go. Okay, the Rangers, Manager, Pat, Growls. Here's this wonderful team right here. Okay, and we have the Royals, Manager, Jim Fry. That's all his fellas. All from the 1980s. Uniforms were a little different then. Okay, and we have the Asteroids. Manager Bill Barden. Right out there. This one's really different. They're all in red, huh? It's kind of neat to see how the uniforms used to be, huh? different. Okay, then we have the A's. Manager Jim Marshall. And here's his group. And we have the White Sox, Manager Tony La Rosa, And then we have the Braves, manager Bobby Cox. Don't you just love all these group pictures like this? Really nice. And we have the Angels. Manager Jim Frigos. Manager Dick Williams. All pretty slim players, huh? And 
Okay, and then we have the Cubs. We'll only put the faces on their cards. Manager, Preston Gomez. Manager Dave Garcia. And the Orioles, manager Earl Weaver. Padres, manager Jerry Coleman. That's sitting on Bella, hey, yeah. Country. Alright, then we have the twins, manager Glenn Mosh. Then we have the Dodgers, manager Tom. A soda. Pretty hard to see their faces with the black cap, huh? Johnson. Cardinals. Manager Ken Boyle. Pretty hard to see their faces on this one too, huh? If you know the player you're looking for, you'll find them. This is all back in 1980. Now you know, for them to be 1980 cards, they actually talk about the play of 1979. So, the batting leaders, 1979, Keith Hernandez, 
and Fred Lynn. That's St. Louis Cardinals and Boston Red Sox. Now, 1979 home run leaders, Dave Kidman from the Chicago Cubs and Gorman Thomas from Milwaukee Brewers. Now, 1979, stolen base leaders, Woo. Omar Moreno, Pittsburgh Pirates, and Willie Wilson, Kansas City Royals. Great job, guys. Nice to steal, isn't it? <laughs> okay, earn run average leaders, wow. J.R. Richards from the Houston Asteroids, and Ron Gildry from New York Yankees. All right. Okay, and then we have a couple that are actually the way the cards are today. Highlights. So highlight. Dell Users, third consecutive pinch homer set. New big lead standard. Ooh, setting the standard. This one here, for some reason, has a piece of tape around it. Not that it was broken. It just happened to be a tape that was on it. And that takes away from it. Okay, the highlights. Okay, Willie McCovey. Five twelfth homers. Wow. Set new career mark for NL lefties. Ah, all right. Well, that throws it off, don't it? Lefties. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. Share these beautiful baseball cards from the 1980s with others who enjoy the sport of baseball, especially the old ones. Alright, be sure to also check out the description in this video as I have three books up for sale. Two are true stories. One of the true stories was picked up by screenplay writer and adapted in the screenplay format titled Broken Souls. So you're going to want to get that one. Read it all up before the movie comes out. You'll find the ISBN numbers right here in the description of this video. Just to make it easy where you can just click, click, grab it and go. Get it at your favorite bookstore. If you're ordering online, Amazon has it. And the third book is a holiday classroom craft for teachers. And you'll also find those ISBN numbers right in the description of this video. So go ahead and grab the ISBN numbers and get yourself a good read. All right, aren't these beautiful? I love the group pictures, they're nice. All right, stay tuned for more. You never know what I'm gonna find. These are all auction finds. And you never know what the auction will bring. All right, bye-bye now.